Hello, this is Texas Toy Review, and today we have Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection. Uh, this is a Secret of the Ooze movie figure uh, that they just released in the store, uh, made by Playmates. Uh, they run you about $20. I found mine at Walmart. Uh, the box stands about uh, one foot tall. Uh, if you want to take a look at the artwork of the box, you can see it's uh, black with a kind of a brick background uh, there, and it's on a plastic bubble protector with a green brick background. And you see the heads he comes with, which is kind of cool. On the top, you get classic collection Raphael, side classic collection Raphael, other side classic collection Raphael, and at the bottom you get UPC, Teenage Mutant Turtles, all that information that no one really reads. Um, then on the back you get a little write-up of uh, the figures. But uh, they don't have a write-up of Raphael. It's just a write-up of just the, the line in general. And then you get the Raphael shown in there with his different faces that you can put on him. Um, which the faces are kind of cool. Uh, reminds me of the figure arts, which I'm a big fan of those. Uh, Raphael stands at about six and a half, roughly inches tall so you should scale well with uh actually NECA figures or diamond selects if i'm not mistaken maybe your uh black series and legends but uh that might be questionable let's see here uh we have a yeah let's see we have a venom <laughs> see how he scales next to venom and eh, not bad i think uh uh, yeah, it's not bad, I guess. Uh, then you got him. Yeah, well, no, man. Maybe he's a little bit too tall for Black Series and Legends. I think he would scale better with the neck of figures, in my personal opinion. Let's see. We got Jason. <laughs> Let's see. Kill, kill, judge. Cha, cha, ka, ka. I know I did it wrong. Everybody does, from what I've been told. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Meh, meh, meh. So, yeah, there you go. Um, he's a good medium in between, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, nonetheless, uh, Donatello comes, or Donatello, <laughs> Raphael comes with accessories. Uh, he comes with his sigh. Raphael is my favorite turtle. <laughs> I can't believe I got his name wrong. I feel like a dingbat. All right, um... He comes with a size, which uh, are not rubbery. It's a, it's a good, decent, hard plastic there. You get some molded details in on the handles like they were wrapped, which that's kind of cool. It has a place for them to go on his belt right here. Um, he also comes with some throwing stars, which are kind of cool. There's four of them in there. I just didn't take the other ones out of the package. Uh, one of the reasons because I did not want to lose them. What is that? Hmm, some battle damage maybe? That's interesting. Um, yeah, there is no place on his belt for these to fit. Uh, so you're going to want to keep track of those. Um, hmm, apparently mine has some paint problem on his shell. That or something got in there that is maybe it looks like that'll clean up so yeah I'll run a brush across that soft toothbrush and see if I can get that cleaned out there but uh, he also comes with uh, I guess a manhole cover that he can use as a shield or throw it I guess uh, also works as comes with a pizza <laughs> works as a pizza holder <laughs> Um, which pizza does not break up into little slices or anything. It's just a solid piece of plastic with what looks like, yeah, uh, a sticker uh, representing the pizza. Um, to change out the heads, I'm not going to pull them out of the box, but 
uh, to change out the heads, he just pulled the head off. And why is this guy got dirt and stuff on him? I just pulled him out of the box. That's crazy. Uh, it's coming like that to me. So, it is what it is, folks. Um, it's a live review. Uh, yeah, he has a large ball joint on the top of his neck there. And you just pop that right on. It comes on and off fairly easy and it's not hard to find if you're used to figure arts like a two millimeter ball joint peg so it's pretty easy to get that on there you can switch them out pretty quickly um for articulation Raphael can look all the way around it is a ball joint so his head goes up just a little bit he goes down just a little bit um he can tilt his head to that side he could tilt his head to that side um for the shoulders his shoulders can move up about that high and back down he gets the 360 wind up pitch which going straight back is going to be hindered of course by the shell but it does go uh it does go out far enough to where you can you can avoid it see so uh, you get a swivel at the bicep, uh, above the bicep, I should say. Um, one thing I want to note is these uh, uh, arm pads, elbow pads, are a separate piece. So are the wristbands, and they cover the joints pretty nicely. Same with the knee pads, which I, I do appreciate. His elbows are double-jointed and move up way past the 90, uh, which is nice. Uh you only get a swivel at the wrist. Uh, those don't have a tilt joint. But you do get individual articulated fingers, which that is really cool. There's two points of articulation on his thumb. So you can give a thumbs up like I'm giving to these guys. Uh, and you can also grip like a weapon or pizza or whatever you want to grip. Uh, you get a hinge joint at the fingers. At the waist, you get a swivel kind of rocking joint, which is cool. And uh, that's this is the bottom half of his back is not connected to the shell, so it doesn't hinder any movement other than when you run into it. But hey, it's pretty cool. Nice, nice uh, articulation for a turtle. Uh, at the thigh, you are not going to be able to do the splits with this guy, uh, but he does get some good articulation going on. His leg can move that far forward, and it stops at the show. Uh, you get, get a swivel up here at the upper thigh, but also there is a swivel here in the center of the thigh so if you wanted to move that around you can uh, you have a double jointed knee moves up about that far and at the ankle you get a swivel going down that far and forward that far at each of the toes have articulation which is cool you can move his big toe you can uh, pretty neat. I think this is the most articulated Ninja Turtle I've seen thus far. You know, figure arts are coming out with them, uh, and they're gonna run you about sixty to. I think they're about sixty dollars a piece. So, compared to them, twenty dollars. This is an excellent bargain. Um, I think I might be skipping out on the figure arts because I really don't feel like paying $50 per turtle for them so I'm happy with these uh, this Texas tour review uh, if you like our review please click like and please subscribe to our page to see more reviews from us thank you